Hey guys, I'm Becky from Book Bite Reviews and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Today it is Tuesday, November 5th, so let's talk book plans for the week. First up, I am reading book two in the House of Night series, which is Betrayed by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. I am continuing my buddy reading with Destiny from Fountain of Books. So we are now on to book two. I don't know how often we are going to be reading them. The plan is to read the whole series together. I don't know if it's going to be like back to back like these ones were, or if it'll be like after this one, if we'll take a break and then I don't know. You'll find out. Just watch the reading vlogs and you'll find out. But it has been so, so fun to read and talk to her in live time and get people's thoughts on this. It has been like really a lot of fun. It is a reread for her, a first time for me, and I'm enjoying it a lot. So the plan is to read 50 pages a day. So this is what I will be reading this week. Since it is Tuesday, I have read 50 pages for yesterday. I did that this morning because I was so tired yesterday. And now I need to read the next 50 pages. Besides reading this every day, I am going to try to pick something else up this week as well. That's the plan. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next though. It's up in the air. I know that it should probably be something on my 19 and 6 list as I have nine books left before the year is up and there's only November and December to read all those. But I also have a Rub Club book whose rating is due next week, so I should also pick up that audiobook, but I just don't feel like it, so we're gonna procrastinate on that. And then at work, I'm going to try and read some more of The Ghost Hunter's Daughter. I read a little bit of it on Sunday at home, and I'm a little more into it. I think I might either just be a hundred pages into it or just under. And uh, I'm starting to get like negative feelings. I don't know if it's just because it's taking me so long to read it just because I haven't had time at work to read it. So it's I've been reading it for a while or if I'm having issues with the writing style in terms of like character development because at first I was really liking it and it really intrigued me but our main character is being kind of annoying right now and I just want the action to pick up and I mean I'm very early into it so it has yet to begin really so I haven't written it off completely but I am going to try and get through it. I really hope I like it because I had really high hopes for it so fingers crossed. But other than that, I don't know what I'm going to read. That is just what I'm planning to do during the week. On the weekend, I have no idea what my plans are. So we will cross that bridge when we get to it. But now I'm going to head downstairs, eat some dinner, and read my 50 pages of Betrayed. And I will check in with you guys later. Also now, every time that I come in my office to film or edit, this little cute bugger comes in here and he just sleeps in my little chair like a little cutie pot. Isn't that right, Pep? You are a doll. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. All right, I am in the living room now to read. My husband is heating us up some leftovers from the other night. He is going to be playing Red Dead while I am reading. But before I jump into that, the best books of 2019 on Goodreads has started... The nominations, or actually the first round of voting, not the nominations, the first round of voting has started. So be sure to vote because I'm going to be doing that right now. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I'm on my way to work and I am late because I desperately needed some gas. So I'm now on my way to work, but I wanted to update you in the car because I didn't update you yesterday. I haven't been doing a whole lot of reading. I've only been doing my 50 pages each day for Betrayed. So there wasn't really a whole lot to update you on besides I read another 50 pages. So far though, I am enjoying it. There's a part of it that I don't really like. I really like romance. Currently our character has three guys who are after her. So on one hand, I don't like it because it's, I don't like the cheating trope, even though she's technically not cheating on anybody because she's technically not officially dating anybody still. And one of them is older and I I don't like that. It's, it's not a good situation. It's an illegal situation actually. I'm not really enjoying that, but I am still enjoying the book itself. I'm also very, very interested to see what we're gonna find out about Aphrodite. I really didn't like her in the first book, but now 
finding out why she is the way she is. I have a soft spot for her just like with Zoe. Zoe has a soft spot for her too. So I'm experiencing the same thing. And I kind of hope that Zoe lets her back into the Dark Daughters, to be honest. But we'll have to find out. When I get home today, I need to edit a video because I realized that I was supposed to edit last night and have a video go up today since it's Thursday. And I usually post on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But I totally forgot until like very late last night before bed and I was like oh crap so that's gonna go up on Friday it is my October wrap-up but I do have Friday and Sunday off so this, this is my last day of work before I get a day off thank the Lord so I'm very very excited about that and I'm hoping that tomorrow I can get a whole lot of stuff done I really want to like do an in-depth planning of all my videos and all of my Instagram posts and just get things on track and I would like to start pre-filming where I already have videos filmed and edited a week before they're supposed to go up so that's the plan we'll we'll see how long I stick to it so yeah I think I'm going to start an audiobook soon probably for the weekend probably tonight I may start one I haven't been reading the ghost hunter daughter at work I just have not had time work has been very very busy so I've I haven't got a chance to even think about reading something at work. I really want to get it done, but I also just don't feel the drive to read it right now. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But I'm almost at work right now, so I will see you guys tonight. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Yes, still in bed. It's a great day. I didn't come back on and update you after work because yesterday was just a day. I also did not do any reading when I got home. I didn't do any editing. I didn't do a whole lot of anything, to be quite honest. Um, I did, however, plan out my videos for the next three months of when, what I want to post and when I want it to go up. So I figured out that I can post my October wrap up on Saturday, tomorrow. So today I will be editing that. I also feel like I'm getting sick again. So I'm starting to take some over the counter medicine to try and get rid of it before it gets to the point where I have to be on antibiotics again. I'm like very stressed out about it and paranoid because I just don't want to go through what I already went through and it's feeling like the exact same sickness is happening again. So that's super fun, but I am trying to get rid of it. But right now I did just wake up. I am going to be watching some booktube and then I need to read my butt off because I need to read a hundred pages of betrayal. Just kidding, of betrayed. I keep messing up the name. I never know if it's betrayal, betrayed, tray. It's betrayed. I think I said it wrong yesterday too. But yes, I need to read a hundred pages of this because I didn't read any of it yesterday. And then once I do that, I think there's only 50 pages left. Yeah, there's only like 50 pages left after that. But I will probably wait and read that either later tonight or wait until officially after midnight and then read the last 50, like three pages or whatever it is. But those are my plans. I eventually need to get out of this bed and like I said, edit my video. And I've officially decided that here in my house, every Friday is going to be chore day. My husband's not getting home till late because he is going out for a friend's birthday, but I think I'm gonna still do my chores without him. I think, I don't know. I'm gonna ask him what late means. Does that mean like my definition of late, which is like after midnight or his definition of late, which is like later than six, you know? So I do need to find that out so I can figure out when we're doing our chores because I am going to start an audiobook today. I will definitely be listening to it while doing chores, hopefully. That is my Friday. So right now I'm just going to cozy back up and watch some booktube because there are quite a few videos that I'm like very, very anxious to watch and excited. So that is what I'm going to do and I'll see you guys later. All right, I'm cozy in bed and we're going to start with the Irish Reader's last vlog for his personal readathon. I'm pretty sure that's the last one, but I'm excited about it. Hello, it has been some time later. It is now, I think, three o'clock in the afternoon and I just found out that I have missed a vlog tour video that I was going to do. Whoops! So, um, 
my plan for not filming anything today and just editing and having an easier day has gone out the window. <laughs> I just got an email from the tour company saying that the publishers were looking for my post and that they didn't see anything. And I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then after some back and forth and some Googling, I figured out what post they were talking about, which I do remember signing up for it. I don't remember getting like a confirmation that I was signed up. So I think what ended up happening was I thought that I just didn't get it. And I did end up finding the email that had all of the stuff. But again, it kind of looks like one of their other emails of like, hey, join this tour. So I probably just saw it and was like, yeah, I already saw this one and deleted it. But basically I was supposed to do a spotlight tour for the next book in the Lost City of the Keepers, I believe is what it's called. Let's find out. Where's my phone? Okay, so the series is Keeper of the Lost Cities and the newest book is Legacy. So I was going to be doing a spotlight video about it coming out and, you know, spotlighting it. And I totally forgot slash didn't think I got it. So I now need to film that, which honestly shouldn't take too long because it's just a spotlight post. But it will take a little bit of time because I will have to say a bunch of information. But um, I'm excited to do it because it's a very popular series. So I'm excited to spotlight it. But I also do have the first book on my TBR. It is a middle grade, which I don't read middle grade. But I've been thinking about trying this one out because it seems kind of like how Harry Potter is a bit middle grade. Like it's that kind of middle grade. I think that... I will check it out eventually. But yeah, so now I need to film that before the sun goes away and edit it and put it up for tomorrow. So instead, my October wrap up will go up on Sunday. This is my life. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally get out of this bed. But on the plus side, I did get through a lot of booktube videos. I really just wanted to try and catch up on especially all of my favorites, but I also checked out a couple new people and now I have new people to subscribe to which is exciting but yeah so it was still a productive day in bed but now I need to get out of the bed and be more productive in life also since I've only been booktubing haven't read a thing and technically after tomorrow's 50 pages this book is going to be done so I should be done with this book by tomorrow but I still have 150 odd pages left which is still totally doable. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll finish it by Sunday because tomorrow I do have work and then I'm hanging out with my friends and I'm doing something very, very exciting, which you guys will find out about after the fact. I'm excited. I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited. That's all I'll say about it. You'll find out tomorrow. Yes, I need to get some reading in as well. So I'm going to go get ready, film, edit, read, question mark, and then do other things. I don't know what those things are. So I will check in with you guys later once I become a lot more productive. Okay guys, I have finished filming my spotlight video. It was actually a lot of fun, but I have such a headache from filming it and I don't know why. I don't know if it was because I had to concentrate on remembering everything to say or the sun being in my eyes. I don't know, but I have a headache. So right now I'm going to go ahead and edit that put it up. I'm very excited to see how my thumbnail turns out because I took some really cute photos that I'm very excited to edit and see what ends up happening. But yeah, I'm excited. And yeah, then after that, I am going to hopefully read. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will check in with you guys later. I also really need to wash my face because when I was putting on my makeup I noticed that like my skin is flaky and I have a bunch of blackheads on my nose and ew. So I think I'm also going to do a whole bunch of face masks and things like that to try and clean my face because it's gross. But alright, I will see you guys later. Oh, <laughs> this doesn't go to my camera. <laughs> I just tried to end this clip using my little clicker that is for my phone. It's not for my camera, so. Hey guys, we are currently in my bathroom and I am going to start washing off my face. I'm going to take off all of this makeup and try and get this face clean, I guess. So here we go. <laughs>
you can probably see, my mask is starting to bubble. This is one of my favorite masks to do. I am just going to wait for this to get bigger and bigger, and then I will walk you through the next steps of this really fun mask. Okay, I think my mask... <laughs> is done growing. So now all I have to do is push all because all of these are bubbles. I don't know if you can really tell. Like it kind of turns into like a like a hard bubbly kind of stiff foam kind of. But now I need to like pop all these bubbles basically so just push them all in my face and then it'll turn into like a froth and then massage my face and clean it off. <laughs> step is complete. Now I just have to wait for this to dry, rip it off, and I'm finally done with my face. Last night, I did a thing. Ah, look at my hair! I have officially dyed my hair purple. It is gorgeous. The blonde turned out amazing. Oh my god. I'm so cool. I'm so freaking cool. I'm so in love with it. It's so much better than what I thought, and it looks fantastic. But I haven't updated you in a couple days. So on Friday, I never closed out the vlog, which, whoops, um, for that day. Um, and then yesterday is when I, I had worked till 5, and then I went to my friend's house and hung out with them until like 1 o'clock in the morning is when I got home. And we dyed my hair and my friend's hair, and we just had a blast. It was definitely a much-needed girls' night, and we had so much fun. But no reading was done. This morning I have read a little bit and I just have like 30 pages left until I'm finished. It was supposed to be done yesterday but we extended it to today because I just haven't had time to read. I think it's because of the readathon. Like I just haven't been in the biggest mood to read and also this week has just been very busy. But today when I get home, because right now I'm headed to my mom's to get my nails done and to have dinner, when I get home the book is getting finished. So I'm very excited. That is the only thing that I've read this week. Didn't start an audiobook like I said I was going to. That sucks. But hopefully next week will be a better reading week. But it was a very nice relaxing week, so that's good. Right now I'm going to head out and I will see you guys tonight. Hey guys, I am back from my mom's house. Got my nails done in this very pretty matte purple that matches my hair perfectly. When I got home, I finished Betrayed. I liked this book so much more than I liked the first book. This one was really, really good. I feel like our main character, Zoe, really grows in this one. I liked the villain that is in this book. I really liked the plot line. I will say that there's a cheating trope. I'm not a fan of that. But luckily, the second half of the book didn't really focus so much on that part. I also really like the character development that happens in this one with our other characters. And there is one character that we basically hate in book one that I'm kind of really enjoying that character in this one. And I hope that we become their friend, which is crazy because I never would have said that in book one. But it is complete. I'm going to give it five out of five stars just because I really, really enjoyed it. And it has made me very, very excited for the rest of the series. So I did talk to Destiny from Fountain of Books because, like I keep saying, we are buddy reading the series. And we are going to pick up book three tomorrow on Monday, which is Chosen. So we will start the next one. I think we're going to try to just hammer them all out. So for the next ten weeks we will be reading House of Night. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's been a good time. 
and I'm excited to see where the rest of the series goes because what we end up finding out in this book has me like really really intrigued and I just can't wait like I'm just so excited to jump into book three so we will be doing that tomorrow even though tomorrow is veterans day i do have work because the library is closed but we will be having a staff in service so it's like a training day and stuff like that so i do have to go to work tomorrow but instead of working my normal 12 to 8 i will be working 9 to 5 so i will get home earlier than normal but i will have to get to work much earlier than i prefer i also have still not edited my october wrap up i will be doing that tomorrow and that will go up on Wednesday and then tomorrow I also have to edit this vlog as well. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just I don't know I just haven't been in an editing mood and then that other video popped up that I forgot about slash didn't think that I was approved for so that kind of like took over the show and then I just haven't I've been very busy slash been very tired and I just haven't had a chance to edit that video. So tomorrow, when I get home from work, I'm going to edit until my husband comes home, and then we're gonna have a house cleaning day because it didn't happen on Friday because he didn't get home till late. Then Saturday, I was busy. Today, we were busy. It's happening tomorrow when he gets home. I hope. <laughs> it's going to happen. It has to happen. Our house is a wreck. It's not too bad, but still, it needs to be cleaned. But I do have, since my October unboxing, or my October, since my October wrap-up didn't go up, that will be going up on Thursday, which means the video that I was going to put up on Thursday, I'm just going to include in this vlog, which is my book of the month unboxing, which I have, to be totally honest, I have already opened it because my husband asked what book I got. So I unboxed it for him. I'm sorry. But for those who do not know, the book of the month is a monthly service where they give you options of what book you can get. It's $14.99 a month. You pick the book you want and then you can also pick extra books for an additional $10 for each book. You can pick up two, two more books, so a total of three. It's a really nice service. I really enjoy them. The one that I am a rep for is the YA book of the month. So it's only YA books that you get to choose from. And I do have a link to use in the description box for you to use if you would like to subscribe as well as I will put this month's code where you can get your first book for I think it's ten dollars nine ninety nine instead of fourteen ninety nine so I will have that in the description box below but this month I picked when the Stars Lead to You by Ronnie Davis. I am really excited about this book. It was on my TBR before Book of the Month announced that it was going to be this month's picks. So I went ahead and grabbed this one just because I was excited about it and knew that I wanted to read it. So this is a YA contemporary romance. In this book we have a main character named Devin who had the most romantic summer of her life, but unfortunately she gets her heart broken at the end of it. It is now, I believe, a year later and she she is slowly putting her life back together and is finally getting over this boy and it's the start of her senior year so she is just ready to come back to life as a person basically and go for her dreams of being an astrophysicist. Unfortunately on the first day of her senior year the boy who broke her heart shows up and he starts to pop up everywhere. He wants her back and she doesn't know if she should put her heart on the line again to possibly get it broken. So this just sounds like my perfect book for when I need a break from all my dark fantasy and dark YA. So I definitely went ahead and picked up this book, especially because I was already interested in it. And our main character is African American. So I am very excited about that as well. So we do have a POC rep, which I'm excited about, but it just sounds... <laughs> What's wrong, puppy? He needs attention. But anyways, it just sounds perfect for when I need a light book to lighten the, re the dark reading mood that I'm always in. So this is the book I picked, but there are four, four, four or five other options this month. So let me tell you, I just need to pull them up real quick. Okay, so first I have the code for this month to get your first book for $9.99, and that is BFF5. Best friend forever, five, BFF5. So now your other options are The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. This is supposed to be a retelling about King Arthur's wife. It's supposed to be really good. I'm not a big fan of the King Arthur tale, so 
I didn't pick it up even though I'm a very big fan of Kirsten White. So if you've been wanting to check out her books but you're more of a King Arthur fan, check out this one. The next option is Song of the Crimson Flower by Julie C. Dow. This is supposed to be a Vietnamese folklore book and it says rejection is only the start of these lovers' problems. The next option is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky. Uh, I hope that you know what book I'm talking about. This is basically a classic and a really good book. And it is also the 20th anniversary edition of it. And then the final option is one that I kept going back and forth on whether I wanted to pick this one up or get the one that I got. But I went ahead and got When the Stars Lead to You because this one is like a sure bet that I'm going to enjoy it. Whereas this one could go either way because it's more of a thriller and thrillers usually don't work out that great for me. But it is called I Have No Secrets by Penny Jolson. So this book is about a girl who for some medical reason cannot speak and I believe can't move and for some reason or another she comes in contact with a serial killer who tells her everything because he needs to get it off his conscience and wants to tell somebody but also pick somebody that can't tell anybody and now a new medical experimental treatment has come out that could possibly give her her voice back and she is going to spill his secrets so it's going to be like a giving a voice to the voiceless medical thriller dark YA contemporary kind of book so I'm very excited I definitely want to check it out but I went ahead and didn't pick this book because it could go either way thrillers are just so iffy with me so I decided to just play it safe and get the book I knew that I would like and then look more into this book once it comes out read some reviews and then maybe pick it up from my library instead but I feel like this month was a very strong month like all of the books sound very interesting so it was pretty hard to pick which book to get this month so if you are having a hard time i would definitely suggest when the stars lead to you or i have no secrets or one of the other great books because they're all really strong picks and again i do have my personal affiliate link to use down below as well as using the code bff5 to get your first book for $9.99. These are also always hardcovers. They do have a alternate dust jacket so it is like a more flimsy kind of paper dust jacket because they have to reprint it with their logo on the front and on the back. And then what is really cool which I really like I don't to be honest I really really hate that we get these cheaper dust jackets that have their branding on it because when you take off the dust jacket it has their stamp and tells you what month and year you got it which I really really like and enjoy so I feel like that is good enough. I don't like that we get these alternative dust jackets because they're not that great of quality and I just feel like it takes away from the beautiful art that was put on these books. So I'm not a fan of the covers, but I just want to throw that out there so that you know as well. And then I believe your first book you get a book of the month bookmark as well. So that is my unboxing for you guys. Definitely be sure to check out Book of the Month because they are a really nice subscription service. I really like that they give you the option of picking a book and if there's not a book you want you can just skip that month. I appreciate that. As somebody who has too many books and needs to be a lot more choosy, I, I'm just not a fan of monthly subscriptions where you're forced to get the book which is why I love the bookish box so much because they tell you what book it is and you can skip out on getting the book in the box so but okay now I don't really know what I'm going to do I'm considering watching some booktube watching some tv or reading which is what I should do I should pick up an audiobook tonight so I may do that I'm also kind of in the mood for something a little bit more like light and fluffy but I don't think I have anything like that on my TBR except for maybe the life and death retelling of Twilight because I do want to try and read that this month but I think everything else is pretty dark so I don't know what to do but all right I think this is my last update for tonight so I will see you guys tomorrow to wrap up the vlog hey guys happy Tuesday it is finally time to close out this vlog I have not done any more reading for this vlog, so 
this week has been a little bit of a fail. But I still read something. I started and finished Betrayed, which was fantastic. I dyed my hair purple, also fantastic. Hung out with my friends and didn't get sick and die, so that's good. I will definitely say that I feel like I may need a little bit of a reading break because I've been going nonstop since my readathon and I can definitely tell that it's taking a toll on my day-to-day -day reading now because during the readathon I mean I was able to read like 50 to 100 pages a day and now I'm struggling to get 50 done. So I definitely think I need to be a little bit kinder to myself and take a little bit of a break. I will not be taking a break this upcoming week so this next vlog will hopefully be better than this one but after that, I think I need to take just a, a little bit more of a breather, and I hope that I can get done everything I want to get this upcoming week because I need to get some books read. Some books need to get read. Very quickly, let me tell you how I felt about Betrayed. I did really like it. I liked it a lot, a lot more than book one. I am going to be giving this five out of five stars, which I'm very, very excited about. I will also give you a little hint into book three of the House of Night series that I have started it. And so far, I feel like we're back to book one. Like even Destiny agrees that Zoe is acting like a brat in the beginning of book three. So I hope it gets better because this one got me so excited for the series. And if Zoe continues to be a brat, then there better be a new main character soon because I'm not going to deal with it. But all right, guys, that is everything that I have for you. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you loved it and you want to see more bookish content from me, please hit that subscription button. And if you want to be notified as soon as my videos go live here on YouTube, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>